Hello guys, Sandeep here and welcome back to a new video. And many of you were asking in my last video that how did you record internal audio on the Realme 3 Pro? This video will be applicable to all Android smartphones. And after watching this video, you will be able to record internal game audio on your device as well. You just need three important things. First one, Android smartphone. Second one, wired earphones which come with a microphone. Having a microphone is extremely important. If your earphones do not have microphone, then this trick will not work. If you want to buy new pair of earphones which come with microphone, then I'll list down some cheap microphones in the description box below. Then you will also need this clamp or tong or chimta basically. This is extremely important. You can use some other accessory as well. I have this accessory in my home readily available, so I'm going to use this. Let's get started with the trick directly. First of all, you will need a screen recording application. You can use your favorite application if you use AZ Screen Recorder. You can use that. If you use some other application, you can reuse that as well. I'm going to use Screen Recorder application. This is what I personally use. And why do I use this? Because it does not have any type of ads. Plus, if we go into settings, then you can directly record with the screen resolution of your device. So Realme 3 Pro has a screen resolution of 2340 by 1080. So you can directly record with that. You can record in 1080p resolution as well. And bitrate can go up to 24 Mbps in this particular application. Having maximum bitrate means having better video quality on devices like Realme 3 Pro or Redmi Note 7 Pro, which come with a very powerful CPU. Having 24 Mbps should be fine. But if you are running on an older device, which comes with let's say Snapdragon 625 or some Snapdragon 400 series processor, then I would recommend you to go to 12 Mbps or 15 Mbps. I'm going to stick to 24. Mbps for this particular video and you can change the frame rate to 60 fps 120 fps is possible as well but it's kind of useless considering you cannot run uh, anything on your device in native 120 fps so i'm going to select 60 fps because i'm going to record pubg gameplay uh, in this particular video you can change sound quality and there are many other options that you can change and most importantly make sure record audio is enabled it if it says that it uses microphone that's totally fine as well but make sure record audio option is enabled on your device after that let's go back now comes the most important part attach your earphones which come with a microphone and as this earphone has microphone it will show the earphone sign with microphone meaning this trick can be used on this device now before you start recording you have to attach this clamp tong or chimta to this earphone like this and make sure the middle button is getting pressed as soon as you do this google assistant will be triggered on your device if google assistant is triggered that that means the trick is going to work just press go back and it will not be triggered again you have to press the middle button no plus no minus just the middle button if your earphone comes with only one button then press that button or press and hold that button by using a tong like this one or you can use any other thing that you have in your house you can use a smaller tong which will just use this much portion. I have a bigger tongue, so I'm going to use this one. Now just open the screen recording application, which you're going to use and just press over here for this particular application and start recording. Uh, let's play PUBG and I'll show you that internal audio is being recorded right now. So as you can see, I'm playing the game uh, right now on the device and this is how it looks when you record the screen and the audio is recorded internally as well and you have to make sure that the microphone is pressed continuously all the time let's see what happens if you remove the tong uh, or chimta and now you will be able to hear the noises and everything that's because now it is using the microphone to record surround noise like everything uh, if i if i do this it will record that as well but if i press it once again and before pressing make sure that you are getting the headphone sign which i mentioned earlier if you are getting that then you are good to go just use the clamp or tong and press the button once again and it will trigger google assistant go back and it will start recording the internal audio once again i have already shot few clips by using this particular method i'll show those clips immediately over here
and as you saw internal audio was recorded completely so what are the cons of this method first of all and most important and only con probably you cannot use microphone to talk to your teammates while you are recording the screen meaning you cannot speak to your friends in pubg gameplay if you play squads a lot then this can be an irritating factor because you will not be able to talk with them but you will be able to hear everyone else it's just that your earphones microphone will be recording the internal audio because of which you can't use your microphone and that's the only con of this particular method if you are going to use this method in your videos and if you are planning to start a gaming channel do let me know about that in the comment section box below if this video helped you do let me know about that as well give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you will get notified as soon as i upload a new video like this one and make sure to share this video with your friends so that they can follow this trick and start recording their PUBG gameplay. And just in case, if you're wondering whether you can record a YouTube video internally, then that's possible as well. If I play this video on YouTube application and if I start recording and uh, let's go full screen and I have attached the tongue over here, then that will be recorded internally on the device. You are hearing the recording, the screen recording basically on your device right now. So if you play someone else's video, let's say, let's play Geeky Ranjit sir's video, then that video will be recorded or if you want to record some other video and you want to repost some particular part of that video, then that audio will be recorded internally. So that's a good thing as well. And that's it for this video.